Hey, Soccer Number 10 fans and subscribers, it's me, Dennis, from the Soccer Number 10 again. I got something for you today that you can actually put within your soccer games. Yes, I didn't use the word use, I say put or apply. You want to get technical with all the words? Go for it. But I'm saying you need to apply this concept. And I hope and trust that I can share something with you today that would blow your mind. Okay. I saw this video on YouTube just the other day. And, um, you know, I, I thought it that why not just share something with you all so that you can see some of the inside intricacies of a soccer number 10. Number 80, Ronaldinho. We know. Talented number 10. Even though he is not wearing the number 10. Now. I want you to watch this video carefully and at the same time I want you to understand this position. You see, many soccer players just think that going on the soccer pitch and playing, that's it. And having a few textbooks move, that's what makes the game well and beautiful. No. Sometimes all the textbooks and all the training cannot equate to beautiful creativity, so to speak. Now. Here we have a typical position that I will try to elaborate with you. Now, let me, this is somewhat of a line. <laughs> now, this is an R. I will elaborate for you what this means. Now, for those of you who are familiarized with some of the things that we do here at Soccer Number 10, this is a very important diagram. Now, this is basically a typical eyesight of a number 10. Okay, I know. You have never heard anything like this or ever seen anything like this. But at the same time, this also stands for many other important concepts within the soccer number 10 arsenal. Now, I'll try to just elaborate one thing. The eyesight of a number 10 is something very unusual. Yes, the eyesight of a number 10. You see, we have two eyes, as you all know, we're human beings. But we, as number 10s, we divide the soccer field into two halves. One half is for the right eye and the left eye is for another half. Now, let me make you understand clearly. Let's say you're going down the soccer field and then you want to just use your right eye to pick a spot to take the shot while your left eye is what is used to calculate um, the position the defenders are attack attacking you and so forth. But you choose whatsoever eye you want to use to, to pinpoint your position that you want to end up in the final stage of the movement. Okay, that's a whole nother video. For those of you who have not seen many of my work or so forth, you can go to soccer number 10 where I elaborate more on the vision awareness of a soccer number 10. Now, with this video, it is important for you to understand this position. Look at it carefully. Ronaldinho has the soccer ball right here. One of his teammates is running down the flank. This guy is heading this way. This guy looks as if he is coming across. Looks. Now, if Ronaldinho pass the ball over here into this beautiful space, what will happen? This guy will run through but he will have a slight angle. This guy will run through to pick it up. This guy might turn back and meet him and close the gap. Or this guy come across and close him out. Okay, okay. I hope I didn't say that too fast. So, Ronaldinho has already divided the field into halves as I said earlier. Notice this position well. Ronaldinho's left eye is glancing down this line. You can't see it unless you are familiarized with the whole concepts of number 10s and Brazilian tactics and soccer. You will understand that Ronaldinho is always looking down there. Now, this is a typical play. Ronaldinho knows that the last sweeper is down there. If he had passed the ball across to this guy, the keeper would have expected this shot right over here. The keeper would have expected this guy over there. But instead, Ronaldinho did something very unusual, very creative. 
He did not pass the ball over there to him. And you know as it goes in soccer, the man is free and he's angry because you didn't pass the ball to him. Now I will let you see some of what I'm driving at. Watch the position carefully. I'll slowly let the video run. Watch the position carefully. Ronaldinho turns. Ronaldinho did not pass the ball to him. This player stopped. And he's upset. You have seen it over. What do you notice with this player? He stops. Now, Ronaldinho has optioned. He has all this flank here. This is a space that Ronaldinho was watching also to create a one against one and the keeper. I know you might not see it. It's called the domino effect in soccer. You attack the last man. These guys are not really important to Ronaldinho. They're not. This one, this guy is the one who is very important to Ronaldinho. You see this guy is so far away from Ronaldinho, there's no way. Ronaldinho just pushed the ball along this point and take the shot. But I want you to notice that this is his left side that he's watching, right? Now, let me quickly allow you to see some more of what's going on. This guy's out of the game. He stopped. He's upset. He's like, screw you, Ronaldinho. I don't really like you, guy. And you know the whole works. <laughs> You're a soccer player. You know what I'm talking about. Now, watch what happens. Ronaldinho beat one. This guy is still there upset come on what happened to the ball what's wrong with the big AC Milan position this guy had never moved he had options he could have moved up and give Ronaldinho more play or he could have run across right this AC Milan player did not do anything he did not create the room for Ronaldinho so guess what he stood this guy stayed in his position right so you have two guys actually lagging on the position. I want you to also notice. Here is the space again that Ronaldinho can put the ball on and take a left foot shot at goal. Right? Right? Say yes. Yeah. He could just throw the ball, lean into this guy's position, and if he gets fouled anywhere here, who's going to take the free kick? Ronaldinho. And he's put himself into a free kick position. All right, I gave you a lot of hints. You might know this already, but I want you to understand the intricacies. Notice who's running behind Ronaldinho. The referee. There are three things that Ronaldinho wants to do. One, set himself up for a free kick in this area. Two, set himself up for a shot. Three, try to make it to the penalty spot. So in case he gets fouled, it's a penalty for AC Mellon. Now, this guy was calling out and what he did he created a decoy so that Ronaldinho can seize the attack watch the play as I continue to inspire you slow motion Ronaldinho is right there as I said now he could set himself up for two things one a shot on goal this defender might block it with a foot or he could cut it, put it on his right, which he did, and take a shot through the space. Now, what else he couldn't do? He couldn't pass the ball back across to this guy because it would be useless. Right? Now, he couldn't pass the ball to this guy. Why? He's offside. Notice the line. That guy's in the half line, half side position. And I want you to notice the weakness in AC Milan's forward line. This guy has never moved from where he stood all along in the whole equation. This is the soccer ball right there at point X. We know that Ronaldinho could actually kick it from anywhere. But guess what? Ronaldinho noticed something important. Look at it carefully. What do you see from this position with left and right with your right and left eyesight as I just elaborate with you earlier what do you notice with this position on Ronaldinho's left eye this guy is going where to the left and on Ronaldinho's right eye this guy is going where still to the left so immediately it deduced a form in soccer number 10 that we call grouping all these guys are going to the left. 
So Ronaldinho knows that if he should cut the ball back quick enough, he will catch these guys off step. A half step, meaning that they are out of position. They're all going wide. So he will have a little gap in between behind them. Watch the play carefully. By means of letting them go left and he cut it back right, he will set himself up for a position where it's just like, this is the position. I hope you can see it. The, he will have, like these two guys are here, he will have a little gap in between that he could take the shot. Right? Hello? Are you seeing what's going on? Okay. I think I'm elaborating too much. This is like a soccer lecture, really. <laughs> Now everyone is going wide, and you will see this in your game. It's called drifting or grouping. Ronaldinho could take a shot and hope to get a deflection and goal, but he doesn't want that. He wants a sure goal. So he cuts it back to the right and put it on his right foot. This guy is still standing. This guy is coming down this flank. So it would be preferably best to cut the ball in this era, which Ronaldinho smartly did. Watch the play. See? Notice what happens. They're all grouped together. And what you still notice. This guy has not moved. Weakness in AC Mellon's forward line. Now, Ronaldinho has what space? All this space. To take a shot. The referee is right behind him. Hoping that if they foul him, it's a penalty. If they foul him, it's a free kick. And you know he's in the right free kick range. So the man will score his own free kick. And the man will take the penalty and kill them. Got it? Now, this is called mind controlling of your opponents. Now, Ronaldinho is going to flick the ball over in this area. Set himself up for a little walk through shot. This is bookwork soccer play. right? Many soccer players overlook it. But many skillful number 10 always seek this position. You see, Ronaldinho cannot push the ball across here and go on, go all the way down, because this guy's already coming across. He's going to block him out. This guy's already coming in. He's like actually creating himself a dead trap. A lot of lines are there. Let me kind of get it out quick. All right. Now, we're finally closing this video. Watch this as I allow you to see this final clip. Notice he stopped the, the ball. As I said, he cut it back. Just a simple little chop in. And what do you notice? All these guys are grouped. These two guys collide. They're out of the game. Now look at the keeper. The keeper is near to the, le the left post. My left, right, will be actually, it's his left. It can't be his right. Just turn around and face it like you're looking through the video and looking at me. So you know that this is the keeper's left. You have to know this. As a soccer number 10, you have to know which part the keeper is. Now, Ronaldinho has an option to take the shot across this line. He's not exactly in line with the ball, but he has a position to take, which he tried. But, you know, the sudden cut and the quick two-second rule, you know, he had two seconds to take the shot. He could have probably waited three and try a shot. Or, since these guys collide, he could have tried to go over and put it on his left and take a shot. But, you know, just finish them off quick. And that's what he tried to do. And watch what happens. See? He made the space, as I said to you earlier. You see, these two guys stopped. They couldn't do nothing. This guy is already way out of the position. He made the space in the middle, as I said. And he cut in into the spot, made the space, and he took the shot. He probably tried to kick the ball on, let's say, mm, this side. So that the ball swerve inward. Get it? So the ball swerve inward to this post, right? And something happened, he missed. Missed kicked the ball because of his, his angle. As you can see, it was a really quick shot. Now, I want you to notice something, my friends. It's very important. These two guys are out of the game. They can't do nothing. So you can seize opportunities for this in soccer. Ronaldinho can't pass the ball to this guy. He's out of the game. It doesn't make no sense. And Ronaldinho can't keep the ball because he might not make it. Some skillful number 10 would keep the ball and run through. But you know Ronaldinho, a very aggressive player. And this is a good mark. This is a good mark that Ronaldinho is back. Look at the shot carefully. Analyze this position. And when you watch videos on YouTube again, friends, uh, please 
do not just watch the videos and think that, oh, yeah, I know, I see the play. Underlies the position. See? The shot. That was what happened. He missed the post. He was aiming, Ronaldinho was just aiming for this area, right here. And he took it across. Some people would say it better would have been go where the keeper was, like in this area. But the keeper was closer to the post. So all this space was free space. But Ronaldinho did what's right. He kept the ball on the ground. If the ball was in the air, the keeper could dive and touch it with one hand out. Right? So in this position, try to keep the ball on the ground, friend. I gave you a lot of tips that you could actually use um, in your games. Now, finally, friends, I want you to, to see something. Right? He's like, oh, man, I missed the play. Right? And look at it from front view. There it is. Watch the play from front view now. He has the ball. This guy is already set to go this way. And this guy is already set to go this way. This is the other play. This guy is coming in. I remember the position. So if Ronaldinho had passed the ball over there to his friend, he would have kicked. Look at the angle. If this guy had to receive the ball, remember that guy who I said was mad. He only had this angle to take a shot. You see? He has this angle. The keeper... If he tried to send it across, the keeper, he has to kick it in the air. He has to come through these defenders. Let me get some of these lines out. You see, if Ronaldinho passed the ball over there to this guy who is running, the keeper covers off the angle. He has to take the shot past the defender over here. The keeper could probably dive and touch it off the axis out of the goal. Could have. Not saying that it's impossible. Not saying that it was a waste play. But Ronaldinho saw all that quickly. Notice Ronaldinho's eyes. You can see it plain and clear. And he's watching the ball with this eye. And at the same time, he's scanning over there for that position. He knows that the, the 18 yards is right off here in this guy position. He's trying to get there, right? Now, a lot of theory. So let's, let me allow you to see what's going on quickly. Notice this was the play. Sadov was way behind. Watch what Ronaldinho does. Instead of passing the ball over there to Sadov running in to take the shot, this guy read that play. The keeper heard this guy calling over there. Ronaldinho did the obvious. Cut it in. Put it on his left. Take a shot. Cut it in. Put it on your left. Take a shot. Now, if you take the shot this way, remember this guy's coming across. So he's going to block it. So Ronaldinho, what's obvious? Put it on his left. This is his left. And he took the shot along this path. That would what I would have done. Now, let me quickly stop this video because I don't want to use up too much of YouTube's time and your time. Okay. See? Notice? He pulled it right there. And watch what Ronaldinho did. He should have just taken the shot immediately. You see? You see what he did? Then he come back through. Let me make you see what happened. He pulled, he pulled the ball across this line, as I said. And he should have put it up for a left and take the left. Get it over with. Right? This guy's already falling. Watch what Ronaldinho did. See? He had the left. He took two steps. This was a bad play on Ronaldinho's part, friends. He took two steps. But, you know, sometimes you want a sure goal. This guy has too much steps to get to Ronaldinho. All Ronaldinho had to do is put it on his left or kick it across here. I'll keep, keep it along this line, right? It's, it's quite clear. But this was a bad play on Ronaldinho's part. Honestly, it was. I mean, put it on the left in the space and finish the keeper. Get it over with. But, you know, Ronaldinho is back and he wants to get his groove on. <laughs> He's working these guys over, as you can see. Watch. Push it. Look, you see, he still had the shot. He still had the shot. But he wants to work them over, make them look stupid. He caused them to collide right here. Then he wants to come over here again. 
You see, that was a bad play from really a real tactician of, of, of number 10s who would know that Ronaldinho had wasted the play. These were his options once he gets there. Cut it into this position and then drift across and take a shot here or here. Watch carefully and see what he did. Ah! You see, he had more space. Notice what happens. The keeper was drifting across. So it was still okay. This guy was coming in. So Ronaldinho knew he had a split seconds to take the shot. And he took it. And he missed kick it slightly. He was probably aiming for here to finish him off. But, you know, he's kicked the ball on an angle. And it swerved out of the goal instead of going straight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope and trust that this video was very informative to you. I hope and trust you have seen some things of what number 10 does actually do now um i am so sorry if i had pointed out a weakness in ronaldinho's um choices of of finishing off this goal which would have been a perfect goal if he had actually just stick with the simplicity but as i say you know ronaldinho is back and he's trying to make sure the world knows that listen i still got it and honestly ronaldinho you don't have to do that we all know you have it now um there was an incident recently about um, Sadoff and Ronaldinho. Um, Sadoff told Ronaldinho that he needs to shape up. And it's causing the, uh, havoc on the internet. Everyone is going crazy. What the hell did Sadoff have to say that to Ronaldinho? And who the hell does Sadoff think he is? I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. But um, you see, as a number 10, Sadoff is more like mature. And Ronaldinho is really skillful, but he's still young. Now, still young, had much potential. But sometimes you need constructive criticism. You see, Ronaldinho has his head in the clouds. And I know you might be a Ronaldinho Heights. I like the guy. Ronaldinho is really awesome. But sometimes when you get a negative constructive criticism, it's also helpful. It makes you dig in and say, who the hell does Sadoff think he is talking to me like this? I am a number 10. I am Ronaldinho. I did it. Get it? So Sadoff chiseled Ronaldinho away. Now, he doesn't have to get into racist, racism or anything like that. Sadov said something strong to Ronaldinho as a number 10. And if Sadov still doesn't have the skill like Ronaldinho, he still has a position to tell Ronaldinho this. And it's very important for us as number 10 to understand this. It was taking counsel from another number 10. Even if Sadov wasn't as skillful as Ronaldinho, he told him something to get into his mind so that Ronaldinho plays well. Now, here are some of the reasons why I think Sadoff said what he said. As you might have not known, Sadoff is on the move to leave AC Milan soon. And Ronaldinho automatically will get the number 10 because of franchise and people want to see Ronaldinho in the 10. But notice what will happen once Ronaldinho gets the 10. He's going to play much, 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 much more better. But Sadoff wants Ronaldinho to wake up because Kaka is not there no more. Right? And he knows that Ronaldinho will help him. Ronaldinho doesn't need a light bulb to shine. Right? Sadoff is in the number 10, but people still looking at the number 80. Now, Ronaldinho, if you're watching this video, man, I want you to understand this. It's not just the number 10 no more. You already have the number 10 burning in your heart. The world knows this. You don't have to prove nothing. Just get back on form. Get your mind right. And the other day I told a few friends that, listen... Ronaldinho needs to take this band off his head. They were like saying, what? Am I going crazy? Why am I saying this? And I said, listen, when Ronaldinho was playing without that band on his head, he was playing much better. Now, I'll put a video up soon to tell you why I'm saying Ronaldinho must take this black band off his head. Now, I hope and trust you enjoyed the video. My name is Dennis Lee from the Soccer Number 10. Just keeping it real with your friends. And I hope and trust you understand some of these techniques and tactics that we are talking about. And evaluating the positions so that you can use them in your game. See you in the next video. Ronaldinho takes headband off. That's what I'll title that video as. So, hey, love you. Take care. And, you know, Number 10, Players of Honor. Keep it up. Stay sharp, stay healthy, stay physically fit, and stay out of trouble.